friends, we must hold the home together. What? What is home without love? What is more tender than the little wife when she looks up into your face and she says, kiss me. You too can enjoy this happiness by patching up the broken fragments of your home with a tube of Gilbert Super Stickum Glue. The first one that hands me five cents. I'll take one, mister. I thank you, and you'll thank me. Allow me to congratulate you. <laughs> My son, did you give the man back his shirt? <laughs> there you are. <laughs> My hat, yes. Don't worry, I'll get it for you. It's, it's a little bit stuck. <laughs> there you are. Just as good as new. Oh, oh you scalper! <laughs> My hand! Oh, my! <laughs> and now, my friends, is there anyone else who would like to have a tooth of this marvelous blue? Hmm. You've just seen a practical demonstration of the mighty power of this wonderful product. If you step right up, please, boy, go away. You annoy me. Now, if there's anyone else who would like one, just step right up. I'll be only too happy to sell you. Come right up into the... <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Is this yours? Yeah. <laughs> Say, where's your license for this? Oh, the license. <laughs> Come along, I think I'll put you in camp for a while. You can't do that. I can't. I'll take you too. But oh, I, come on. Just a moment. No but, argument. But listen to come me. Come along. But every rule has its exception. And in this case, I want to plead for my friend. That man has a wife and five little kitties. Six kitties. That's right. I, I'd forgotten about the new arrival. Come on now. Come on. Of course... My little kitties and wife, they'll manage somehow. Well, all right, I'll let you go this time. But you guys, I gotta get a license now. That's all. Thank you, officer. If every city had a chief of police like you, this would be a better world to live in. Yeah. Well, I'm not the chief yet. <laughs> I have hopes. You're in the bag. Thank you again, officer. It's all right, don't mention it. Carry on, Vincent. Uh, chief of police, huh? <laughs> well. My, my car! They, they took my car! Why the... You too can brighten up your lives with a can of Gilbert's Super Luster Auto Paint. My friend, would you uh, demonstrate this paint for me? Be careful. And now, right here. The main feature is that this paint will not run. There you are, and I thank you. How are you, Mr. Lang? How are you? Did you see that fellow and his partner selling paint down the street? 
Yes, that big fellow has a marvelous gift of gab. Say, why not hire him? Let him settle for you. That's a good idea. Thanks. It leaves this streak of golden sunshine. Step right up. Forty fifty. Where's my car? Huh? There it is, officer. Oh, look at that car! Oh, that's the new car I was going to give to my bride as a wedding present. Look what happened to those two salesmen, Jameson? Uh, I don't know, Mr. Lang, but I know what'll happen to them when I find them. I'll wrap a telegraph pole around their necks. What's that? To go away from me, come back to me. Where'd you get it? Find it. Bought it. Well, we only had ten cents. Oh, but it only cost a nickel. <laughs> Here we are, down to our last dime, and you spend a nickel for a come back to you, go away from me. Oh, you. I'm sorry. Oh, Vincent, why did you do it? Oh, well, I got to have some fun. Give me that other nickel. Vincent, do you smell what I do? Food, right. Look, well, well, well. Vincent, you better take care of this nickel. I don't trust myself. Vincent, give me that nickel. Oh, Vincent, is there any expense attached to this frivolity? Only a nickel. Did you? Yes. Let me take that back, son. Give me my back. Now I'll give it back to you almost as good as new. Vincent, this has been a lesson to you. That's the man that stole my back. <laughs> Aren't you the fellows that were selling paint down the street? Yes. I've been looking for you. Hey, come back here. Hey, come back here. guys a ride. Not just a moment, officer. I don't care about myself. Oh. You're worried about him and his 12 little kiddies. Just a minute. Oh, hello, Mr. Lang. What's the matter? Uh, I'm just taking these guys to the jug. They ruined my car. 
It's going to cost me 25 bucks. Well, I was going to give him a job. Now, listen, officer. You look like an intelligent man. Now, if you take us away to jail, you'll never get your $25. Then again, if you allow Mr. Lang to employ us by next Saturday night, we'll be able to reimburse you. That's right. Okay. But I warn you, if I don't get that dough by next Saturday night, I'll wrap a telegraph pole around your neck! We can't right hide down there, boys. Thank you. I want you to go in that house and sell every piece of furniture that's in it and get all you can for it. Here's a set of, uh, skeleton keys. The address is 500 Oak Street. 500 Oak Street. A very easy number to remember. Good luck and goodbye. Thank you again. <laughs> Vince, at last we've arrived. You are set up, kid. Vincent, where is your dignity? Oh, <laughs> would you give me that thing? <laughs> And now to 500 Oak Street. 500 Maple Street. Oh, I just simply heard Mr. Lang say 500 Oak Street. Maple. Oak Street. It's 500 Maple Street. I tell you, it's 500 Oak Street. Uh, Merkel, uh, it's 5 Merkel Oak Street. It's, listen, it's 500 Maple Street. But that's what I said. You did not. You said 500 Oak Street. I said... Now listen, let's not argue. Go to 500 Maple Street. Come right in, folks. The sale will start right away. Go right inside. Please, go away from me. Don't bother me. Now, will you leave me alone? What do you want? You want me to bid everything up, don't you? I thought we went through all of that. Yeah, but when do I stop bidding? Oh, that's right. I'll tell you. When I get the bid as high as I want it, I'll sneeze like this. Gesundheit. Oh, thank you. Now, don't forget the signal. I got it. And now, my friends, if you'll gather around me, the sale will start immediately. Where are we going on our honeymoon, dear? <laughs> well, uh, we're not going, darling. Oh. You see, I spent all our money. Oh, Bud. <laughs> I bought you a little love nest. You know, the ones you like so much on Maple Street. Oh, let me kiss. Oh. <laughs> mm. <laughs> and wait till you see what's inside. <laughs> Will you be surprised? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Just feast your eyes on it, ladies and gentlemen. You know, uh, that's a lovely thing, isn't it? And I've only bid $50 for this gorgeous, inimitable piece of modern art. Do I hear 55? 55. Will I hear 60? Do I hear 60? Do you like it? Mm-hmm. 75. Gesundheit. <coughs> Salute. God bless you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Are you all through a 75? Let me hear, Eddie. I'm quite sure that you'll find a place in your beautiful home for this gorgeous creation. Will I hear 80? 80 dollars. First, second, and last call sold to that gentleman for 80 dollars. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I offer for your consideration this magnificent piano. This genuine, full-toned Blachnik. Just call me Vince. Will someone give me a starting bid? Come on, start the bidding. Come on, don't be bashful. Let's have a bid. Dollar and a half. Thank you. A, a dollar. Who said that? Very funny. For this genuine, full-blooded blacknik, I've been offered a dollar and a half. Two dollars. That's better. Two, two dollars. I'm not selling a piccolo. I'm selling a, pi a, pi a, a piano. Oh. 
Five hundred dollars. I am bid five hundred. Five hundred, I'm bid. Did you make your money in oil? No, I was the champion. Tennis? Remember, ladies and gentlemen, no, the ring. A prize fighter. Oh, how thrilling. Sell this Would you like to hear what I did to Pennsylvania Jack O'Brien? I'd love to. I have a bid of five hundred dollars on this gorgeous piano. Do I hear it? Six. Let me hear six. Six hundred. Thank you, sir. Six hundred, I bid. Do I hear any more? Seven hundred. I am now bid seven hundred, seven hundred dollars. Are you all through? Surely you're not going to allow this magnificent instrument slip through your fingers for a measly seven hundred dollars. Baby wants the piano. All right. Seven fifty, a thousand. Then I give it to him. My left, my right, my left, my right. Are you going to allow that man to steal this piano for a thousand dollars? Do you really want it? Uh huh. Fifteen hundred. Sixteen hundred. Sixteen fifty. I thank you. Ah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. I'd like to. Thank you, thank you. Sixteen hundred and fifty dollars I'm bid. First, second, and third call. Are you all through? I'm happy to say... Seventeen fifty. Seventeen. Then my right. And then he hit me in the stomach. Seventeen fifty I'm bid. I'm bid, bid seven. <laughs> Thank you. you. Just b bring it up a little. 1750s. You're not going to stop there. It's a steal. I really think the man is right. 1800. 1800. 2000. Oh, sound. Oh, sound. Oh, oh, oh. Can I get another bid? Just two thousand dollars is all I bid. Give me one more bid. Oh, the hat. The, oh, <laughs> the bird. <laughs> two thousand. Just give me one more bid, won't you, please? Come on, dear. Let's go. Oh, baby, one. Hmm. Yes. <laughs> Give me a little bit more. Fifty cents, a dollar more, and you can have uh, a dime. Well, this is definitely my final bid. Twenty-one hundred. Three thousand. Three. Three. Ah! Writing a story? Oh, what? That hotel? That hotel. You think that you see? Oh, good. I'll be through in about 18 minutes. Mm. Kind of having to follow you around every time I tell you to do something. Now, you get this into your head, Mr. Quick. You're working for me. Yes, <laughs> Good evening, Mrs. Fish. How do you do? Indeed, and I insist that you sit at my table. All right, Mrs. Fish. Good evening, medium. Sir, sir, quick, I remember boy. your place. I uh, say, I will say, I will say, 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 What are you trying to say? I was as great as I was as a British boy itself. He wants the key to 42 on the fourth floor. Oh, boy, you're an elocution, see? Occupied. Not till I fall out of the window. 
Oh, you fell out the window. Why, certainly. I've told you before, don't get familiar with the guests, especially Mrs. Fish. Wow! Oh, me, sir. Right this way, sir, here's the table all by yourself. You like the climate here, Mr. Wing, and there's plenty of opportunity for investment. Come, come, the water, Mr. Quake. Very good, sir. We have a special rice pudding tonight. With raisins? No, sir, we left the screens up today. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> this is a railroad center, and I might even consider a partner in this hotel. Uh, 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 <laughs> Mr. Quake. You're a fathead. Thank you. I'm sorry, sir. I, I thought it was a salt. Mr. Quick. Oh, thank you. Is everything satisfactory, sir? Thank you. Oh, Mrs. Fish, you look more and more each day like a beautiful golden trout. Thank you, Mr. Smythe. <laughs> more like a lovely gazelle, Mrs. Fish. Thank you, William. Who's asking you? Ah, the soup. Let's tune in. What kind is it? Chicken. Oh. Hmm. Well, if that's chicken, it walked through on stilts. <laughs> that remark was unnecessary, Mr. Quick. Thank you. <laughs> Mr. Quick. Eat your soup away from you like this. Away from me, Mr. Smart? Exactly. And do you think I'd like it at a hotel? Oh, positively. It's very interesting. They cut this bread so thin, it only has one side to it. Mm. Pass the butter. Oh. <laughs> Slipped. <laughs> you don't have to eat here, Mr. Quick. Thank you. Your rice pudding and coffee, sir. I see the window screens were up. Oh, yes, sir. He's certainly well named the mysterious stranger. I hear he has $50,000 here in the hotel safe. Oh, aren't you the gentleman in room 15? Yes. <laughs> well, the bed in that room has historic interest. Really? Mm-hmm. General Grant slept in that bed. Hmm. I hope when he left, he took his army with him. But after we're married and get the chain of hotels going... How romantic. <laughs> we can just settle back and travel and see the world and even Europe. <laughs> <laughs> that big lazy loafer could even sleep standing up. And maybe the poor man is tired. Tired? He was born tired. Germain. <laughs> Is your coffee warm? Yes. What is that? It's an oyster. Mouse! Mouse! Oh, whiz, it got away. Don't look any further. How many? Three. I'm out. Give me one card. That's the boy. Oh, I pass. Mr. Quick, some water. Well, that's my third pot in a row. What won that? A pair of queens. And I threw away a pair of kings. Mr. Quick. Mr. Quick. Yes, sir. Go out and shoot yourself. Thank you. 
Let's you and I sing a duet together. Fine. Do you know the barber of Seville? No, I believe in patronizing the local barber. Oh. You see, I'm the deputy sheriff here. It's funny how my luck holds out. Mm. How much? One cent. Boy, a lot of money is changing hands here tonight. Well, I'll see you and raise you two cents. That's my bet, Mr. Smart. Come again, sir. <coughs> I've lost 15 cents already, but I'll call you. I got a royal flush. So have I. <laughs> you had me worried there for a minute. I can't get a good hand. Let me have that high note again. <laughs> <laughs> I have a higher one than that, but I'm afraid my eyes would pop out. Oh, you're so musical, ain't you? <laughs> me, 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 me. It's worse than sitting in the dentist chair. I came here for peace and quiet. Can't you do something about it? What can you do? I'll tell you. Let's take the unfinished symphony and finish it. <laughs> Clean the pans. Very good. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, we're newlyweds. On our honeymoon. Please don't let anyone know. Please. It's embarrassing. I understand not a word. Thank, Thank you. you. If you're not doing anything this evening, uh, come down to the lobby. We'll have card games, and I'm going to give a concert. <laughs> Thank you. Now, uh, what about a room? Oh, yes, yes, you want a room. Well, if you don't mind. No. Uh, did you want one with a window? Uh, yes. Unless the keyhole would get enough ventilation. <laughs> well, I'll look into that for you. No, 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 don't bother. Uh, how do you rent your rooms? I often wonder myself. I'm the proprietor here, Mr. Uh, Mr. <laughs> Henshaw. Good. He's just the hired help. I'll show you your room. Thank you. The key, Mr. Quick. Very good, sir. How'd you find the town? Oh, it was easy. We just came in and... And here it was. <laughs> <laughs> just follow me, please. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Ricardo Drake, the man with a thousand voices, bids you good morning. Uh, now offering a little drama with all the parts played by myself in... Oh, she was only a milkman's daughter, but you should see her Kev. Catch on? <laughs> Important people stop here. Stranger in that room always talking to a phonograph, making records or something. Stranger in there sleeps with $50,000 on his person. Wants to be called at 9.30 tonight, so I'm sitting up. Excuse me, I'll have to send a telegram. You can unpack, dear. I'll be right back. Okay, darling. I thought I asked you to do me a favor, not to say anything about our being newlyweds. Oh, I didn't. Why, as a matter of fact, I told everyone that you were just good friends. Suffering catfish. This is station XYZ. We have opened this station especially to inform you of the dastardly murder of a man for his money. This crime took place in the Eagle Hotel tonight, and it is reported that Vincent Smart, the hotel proprietor, is the assassin. Lock your doors and windows. <laughs> Isn't it true, Mr. Smart? You get fifty thousand dollars to pay the mortgage. Yes, William. Mr. Stranger and his fifty thousand dollars disappeared. My hands are clean. Yes. <laughs> but how about your neck? <laughs> but he can't answer that one. Uh -huh. That you sneaked out of that fatal room. 
unmindful of that cold, pallid body, but with other ideas on your mind. It's no use. I can't sleep in my room. I can't sleep here. Where were you in the chopper fire? It's a lie. You can't put the wool on my eyes, Mr. Smart. You claim the body disappeared when you went out to phone the police. I'm sorry. I'm not too sorry. Mr. Smart, I wonder if you put on more heat. Steam heat? Of course. Now look at your radiator. It's a little cold on one side. I'll warm it up for you, Mrs. Love. <laughs> Mr. Smart, you're so handy. Hello, Ruth. Mama wants a bottle of white bread. Certainly, dear. Open the door, Alice. Open. Oh, <clears throat> Come on, Alice. Hello, dear. Hello. I missed my train again, as well. Hello, Ruthie. There's a boogeyman in there. <laughs> of course there isn't a boogeyman in there. No such thing as boogeyman. Yes, boogeyman, boogeyman. Don't be silly, dear. Well, darling, just to show you there's no such thing as boogeyman, I'll open the cabinet. Yeah, see? Oh, why, it's only the hotel proprietor. Good evening, Mr. Smart. Good evening. Now, you see, Ruthie, don't ever let anyone tell you such silly stories about boogeymen. There are no such things as... See, what was that guy doing in that cabinet? Well, I'm a comic opera husband. Yes, you and your hot and cold radiator. Oh, what a staff I've been. I've a good mind to blow my brains out. Not on our clean rug, Mr. Love. Give him the arc. Look me straight in the eye. My eye, I can't even see. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Uh, if I only had a gun. Here, take mine. Here. Uh, I say, I, I fell out the window again. Oh, my. My nerves are shot. Get me a cup of tea. I'll take aspirin. Snakes! Snakes! Oh, he's got me! Oh, baby! Oh, 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 oh! They come! Look at all! Oh. Ah! Stop it! Where is the man who shot my husband? There's the man. Give him the works. Why did you do it? Why did I didn't do it. Don't believe him. He lies. I'm going to give you the same thing you gave my loved one. It's a good thing I ducked. No! No! Go open the door! You're choking me! No! Push! Push on it! Push! You're in a jam, Mr. Quick. Right up to your neck. Let me out of here. I'm strangling. Push up something. My neck may be a little dirty, but it's comfortable. What? <laughs> Will you stop the kidding? I'm not kidding, Mr. Quick. <laughs> There, finished. But who was the mysterious stranger? Why, it's perfectly obvious, my dear. The radio man and the stranger are one and the same person. Oh, you always let your villains escape. He'll be captured when? in our next installment. Oh. care of my 
have been, Fulton. Don't worry, Miss Barnett. I'll take care of him as if he were my own brother. Take this, Vincent. Goodbye, Ma. Goodbye, Ma. Goodbye. Detour. Yeah, we must be on the wrong road. Uh, I beg your pardon, miss, uh, but could you tell us where we're at? Yeah, we're lost. Well, let me see. If you're going that way, you'll have to turn here. Oh, I see. Stay right on this road. That road will bring you to a fort like this. Mm -hmm. I see. But if I was you, I'd keep on straight till you come to a nest that goes off that way. If you don't turn before you get to it. <laughs> Thank you very much for the information. You see, Vincent, if you don't know where you're at, it always pays to ask. What can I do for you, gentlemen? Uh, some gasoline, my good man. How many, gentlemen? Oh, fill it to the overflowing. What is for money? I've changed my mind. Uh, perhaps you'd better give us just one gallon. I believe that will be enough for now. Oh, you believe so, do you? Yes. Listen, you eggs. If you get any gasoline, you're going to pay cash for it in advance. Or you don't get none. Here, the boss is coming. You better get this thing out of here. Come on. You get out and push. I'll steer. Good morning. Good morning. What can I do for you, Mrs. Ferguson? There's a rattle in the door. Will you see what you can do about it? Certainly. I'm going to the dentist. It's a beauty. Never saw one of them before. It's a special built body, and the only one of its kind in town. My husband just bought it for me. We'll take care of it for Thank you. Thank you, and I'll be back later. Okay. We can't go any further without gasoline. Let's trade him something for it. We'll give him your cool skin coat. Oh, not my cool skin coat. I raised it since it was a pup. Vincent. <laughs> Vincent. Oh, oh, that's... You're not going to deprive us of our gasoline, are you? Shame on you. Uh, my good man, come this way a moment, please. I'm sure I have just what you want. Why? Just one moment. Well, you got caught. See you up there. Get... I thought it was a dog. Oh, no. Say, what do I want with a thing like that in the summertime? It's 120 in the shade now. Oh, but you don't have to wear it in the shade. Ah, don't. Oh, this is a delightful bit of Phileas art. A bit dusty. Let me show it to you. Dandruff. <laughs> well, you can use it for a raincoat. I want any raincoat. Say, if you get any gasoline, I want cash or jewelry. Or gold. You will accept gold? Yes. Oh, no, Barry, no. No, no. Mm -mm. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, you're not going to pull that fellow's tooth out. Oh, but, sir, I guarantee you it's solid gold. Oh, I don't care whether it is or not. What I want is cash or nothing. Make me sick. Let's sell them the car, then we can buy all the gasoline we want. A wonderful idea. I'm glad I thought of that. Come, quickly. What is it now? Now I have something that is right in your line. Well, what is it? An automobile. Yeah, where is it? What is it? Right here. What, that heap? That's not a heap. That is a car of dignity. I will require a little more time to deliberate upon the matter. Herman! That car you were going to buy for me, it's been sold. I know, I know. My wife's car insisted upon it, so I had to buy it for her. Oh, so you think more of her than you do me. 
Well, let me tell you something, Mr. Herman P. Ferguson. You get me another car like that, what'll happen? Oh, now listen, baby. I can't put out that kind of money for another car. You will or else. Well, all right. We'll go to every dealer in town until we find one. Come on. This car has had very little use. Chauffeur driven by an old lady in Pasadena. Well, I don't know what the boss will say, but I'll take a chance. I'll give you 15... We'll take it. You strike a hard bargain, sir, but we'll accept. Here's your 15 bucks. Gee, now we can buy all the gasoline we want. Right you are. Fill her up, my good man. Do you mean it? Come, come, my good man. Don't detain us any longer. Fill her. <laughs> I just thought... <laughs> well, well, what are you laughing at? <laughs> These two saps here. <laughs> I just bought their car. And now they want me to fill it with gas. We just sold them our car. <laughs> it's so... <laughs> hey, you're fired. But I'm Go fired. on, get out. Get out. Hey... How would you guys like to sell cars for me? Oh, well, I'd like it very much. Give you ten dollars a week. Yes, but how about my partner? Well, that goes for both of you. Accept it. Okay. And if you make good, I'll give you a commission besides. I'm sure you won't regret it, sir. Okay, get busy. Yes. You see, Vincent, nothing succeeds like success. Look, there's one. Now baby can have her car. <laughs> Is this car for sale? Is it for... Well, oh. uh, this car is for sale, isn't it? Oh, yes. Everything on the lot is for sale. Precious. How much is this car? Oh, uh, I'll have to talk that over with my partner. Come, Vincent. How much do you think we should ask him? Well, we got $15 for our car. Let's ask him 20 Listen, the boss isn't here. Let's not take any chances. We'll ask him 25. Well, we'll try it. Sure, we can always back down to 20. Uh, we've decided to let you have it at 25. 25. But 2,500 is a little bit more than I really wanted to pay. 2,500? <laughs> That's all right. I'll pay it. So. There you are. It's my wife. Who is that woman in my car? Your car? The, why, my dear, we... Why, uh, she, uh, that is, if, uh, why, it couldn't be my gift. <laughs> calm yourself, my dear, calm yourself. Did you boys sell my car? No, no, he bought it. Herman, you get that car back or I'll see my lawyer. You beetle brains, get that car back? <laughs> How are we going to get it? I don't care. Borrow, beg, or steal it. Here. Get it at this address. Then take it to that address. And if you don't deliver that car by tonight, I'll have you thrown into jail for the rest of your lives. Thank you. <laughs> we should have gone east. We better not go south with this. <laughs> It only goes to a dollar. Well, ring that, and when you've rung it 2,500 times, quit. I don't care what you say. I've got that car back. Bring a check here. If the car is there, we'll deliver it to the second address. If not, vice versa. We get the Versa at the Vice. We drive the Versa over to the Vice. We get the car and drive it by... Well? Joe? Yes. That's 
the car delivered to the other address. But, sweetheart, if you'll come downstairs and take a look in the garage, I'll promise you the biggest surprise of your life. No, I am not going. Try the door. How are we going to get the car out of here? The doors are locked. Don't be silly. If we don't get the car, we'll go to jail for the... I got it. Stand out here, and you pass the car out to me. Oh, oh honest, I, I knew if you had a brain. Wait a minute. Maybe that's not a bad idea. Well... <laughs> Will you go get a stick to hold this window up? Go! Here now, be careful with this. Don't scratch it. for leapfrogging. Here. This is a unit. Be careful with it. There. with these. They are the whatnots. Be careful of them. Oh, you... Pick those up. Those are what hold the car together. Oh, oh, oh you... You let this window down for. I didn't. You did. Don't argue with me. Now you stay here till I pass the rest out to you. Please come down and just take one look. Will you please? Come on, dear. Oh, all right. I'll go. Now, come on in and help me with the rest of this. And now you'll see something that'll make your little heart jump with joy. <laughs> Oh, you... We'll have 
the rest of this out of here in another minute. Give you a lift home, Mr. Johnson? Well, yes, thanks. <laughs> say, do I know you? I'm Mr. Browning, your next-door neighbor. I <laughs> saw you move in the other day. Well, say, that's very nice of you. <laughs> that's all right. Thanks, a million. <laughs> Matter, your car broke down? No, it's being painted. Well, that's quite a job, isn't it, actually? Well, I don't know. The wife's doing it. You mean that your wife undertakes a job like that alone? Well, not exactly alone. You see, she's got the kids to help her. Oh, the children. Sure. You are indeed lucky. That's quite a family, Mr. Johnson. <laughs> I I have to help with the housework when I get home. Oh, say. The trouble with you is you haven't learned to outsmart the family. No? No. My family used to have me buffaloed once just like that, but I outfigured them. And now they wait on me hand and foot. Is that so? Sure. How many in your family, Mr. Brown? Oh, well, there's my mother-in-law. Oh, seriously. <laughs> There's my brother-in-law. Yes. There's my wife and a little sunny boy. And of course, there's me. Is there? Yes. Why, well, certainly. <laughs> Say, do you like to sit and read at the breakfast table? Oh, Mr. Johnson, I couldn't do that. But how do you like to sit back in an easy chair after dinner and smoke your pipe? Oh, Mr. Johnson, there's the dishes to be done. This... I'm going to let you in on a secret. What? It works with my family. It'll work with your family or anyone else's. Yeah? I call it the masculine emancipator. Oh, Mr. Johnson, if you could do something like that for me, you could have anything I've got. Tell me, what's your secret? I'll show you. Here's our driveway. Drive upstairs. All right. Here we are. Hey, come here. Come here. Take a look in that window. Take a look at my family. Oh, dear. Well, that looks just like my home. Exactly, but watch what happens when I walk in. I'm so glad you're home, dear. Right. I've been waiting for you to put the screens back in the windows if you're not too tired. Well, the screens. Say, you just get me a hammer and a couple of nails and I'll have those screens up and... Oh, wait. Oh. 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 What is it, dear? It's nothing. It's the old pump, you know. Oh, oh dear. Oh, dear. Comfy? Oh, yes. Yeah. Shall I send for the doctor? Yes, I know. Yes. Oh, dear. Oh. Are you are you all right? Is there anything I can get you, dear? Oh, darling, just the usual, you know. With a little dash of soda. Not too much ice. Oh, 
Good evening, everybody. Well, you're five minutes late, aren't you? Well, better late than never at all. <laughs> oh, come on, dear Sonny. Please take all this stuff out of the living room, won't you? That's a good boy. Have you ever... Mom, look what popped into my scooter. Herbert, will you please leave the child alone? Well, is dinner ready? Will be as soon as you peel the potatoes. Peel potatoes? I don't suppose that you or your mother here could find time to peel potatoes? Not if I'm going to get her new dress ready for her before she goes home. Her new dress. And that just reminds me. I thought she and your brother were leaving here today. They were, but I persuaded them to stay another month. Well, isn't that going to be nice? Now, listen. There's something I've got to hey, tell you. Sis! Uh, sis, listen. I have a new step. I want you to see it. I've got uh, something to... Move over. Uh, well, listen, listen to this step. This is the dance. There's something I'd like to tell both of you. Uh, Give me a little see, attention, see, please. See, see. I've got to tell you something. I am master of this house. You listen to me. Huh? Oh, my heart. Oh. oh. Will you be quiet when I'm talking to people? Yeah. Oh. Uh, let me see the step again. Once more? Yes. Okay. Oh. 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 Watch what you're doing. Look, I could have sprained my ankle. Oh, you yeah, fool. <laughs> Look, heat prostration, coated tongue, red face, and labored breathing. Treatment, cold water over head and face, and rub body with ice. Go get some ice and a great big pitcher of cold water. Oh, oh no! <laughs> it's a minute, Patty. Look at that tongue. Just uh, look at it. Uh, it's like a piece of tripe. Tripe? Uh, oh, oh. No, it's cramped. She's got cramped. Yeah. That's what it is. Cramped. Fine, uh, mother. This is too much lunch today. Oh, oh, here it is. Oh. Bathe the body in water. Hot this can be gone and apply mustard plaster. Mustard plaster, doctor. Oh, no. Look, please. Maybe I could have one little shot. Shot? Certainly not. Positively no hypodermics. Hypodermics? What are you trying to do? Turn into a dope fiend or something? Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh that's fine. Now we're getting... Oh. What can I do with the water? The water? Uh, give it to him. Oh. 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 Fine. Now get right down there. Take your shoes and stockings off and rub his feet. Oh, okay. Oh. What are you trying to do here? Oh, 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 wait a minute. Hey, this has got a knot in it. A knot? Wait, I'll go. I want to. Oh, no. Now we're getting on it. We can't have a little thing like this. It doesn't matter. Oh, 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 o
gone out the window. Oh, he's gone out of his mind. That's it. That's just it. He's out of his mind. He's crazy. No, no, wait a minute. Mother, what are you doing? Who are you going to call? Uh, Dr. Von Blatt, uh, the mental specialist. The one I had for your father. Oh, here, dear. Here. Off site, two, 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 two. Dr. Von Blatt, mental specialist. Why didn't you answer the telephone? Hello. Goodbye. I mean, you were, hello. Doctor, uh, this is Mrs. Sawyer. I have another patient for you, my son-in-law. He's getting violent. What will we do? Don't do nothing until I get there. I don't live in clear. I'm... You just make talk with him. Uh, please hurry over. Oh, yes, please hurry. Yeah, hurry up, Doc. Oh, I'll be right over. I'll be there as soon as... Why don't you listen to me? I told you, I'll be right over. I, I'm as, as quick as possible. While I'm talking, I could be there, ain't it? <laughs> All right, please. Goodbye. Uh, hello. Go home. I'll be there. Fine mess that you've got me into. You and your heart failure. Oh, it didn't work, eh? No, it didn't work. <laughs> and I've got a good mind to... Ah, now, 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 remember the old adage. If at first you don't succeed... And that reminds me of another one. The man worthwhile is the man who can smile. When everything goes dead wrong. In other words, no matter what they do to you, just smile. Laugh. <laughs> Back it up. Really? Tell me to laugh. <laughs> do you really think so? Do I think so? I know so. Yeah. Laugh and the world laughs with you. Come <laughs> <laughs> on. I'm a sucker for trying this again. Oh. But look, I'll give it one more chance. Sure, laugh it up. Laugh and the world laughs with you. That's the stuff. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Boy, hey. Isn't that your family there looking for you, dear? Yes. Where? Right back there, dear. Oh, Herbert. Come here, honey. Oh, dear. Go on, hop to it, neighbor. And don't forget to laugh. <laughs> Thanks very kindly, Mr. Johnson. I won't forget. Atta boy. <laughs> you will. You... <laughs> Wouldn't you like to go inside? Yeah, surely. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I sat down. Yes, you sat down, Herbert. <laughs> now you're standing up again. <laughs> oh, <laughs> up and down. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, it's nothing, it's nothing. 
That's right. Take it easy. <laughs> Certainly, it's nothing. <laughs> <laughs> He's as crazy as a loon. Yes, he is. <laughs> Why don't you lie down, Herbert, and I'll bring you a nice mint julep. Sure, that would be yeah. nice, Shirley. Why, well, I'll lie right over on the dashboard. Oh, dear. Silly. You can't bear like a lily. Go and do something to entertain me. For you. For me? For you. <laughs> well, thanks. Do you feel all right? <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> do you? Oh, uh, yes, I feel all right. <laughs> uh, do you? <laughs> I feel much better now. <laughs> well, uh, well, then we both feel better. <laughs> We'll answer the door. You stay counting. Yes, sure. Oh, I get <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> um. Oh, there you are, Doctor. Come here. I... Did I... <laughs> that is he. Over there. You called me just in time. Go out to my car and get my stay jacket. Hand me. <laughs> oh. This is terrible, you're telling me? Don't <laughs> worry. I am here. Who are you? I'm the fellow that's got a hold of you. Yes, I know. Oh. Dr. Von Blatt, the pain specialist. Here it is. Is anything wrong, lady? Yes, my husband's gone crazy. I knew it. Don't worry, from now on, everything's going to be okay. Listen, wait a minute. Listen, let me explain. You have the wrong fellow. He's the guy that's crazy. Oh, it's worse out than I thought it was. <laughs> no. He thinks the other fellow is crazy. No, let me go. He's really cuckoo, this fellow. How long he works like this? <laughs> Ever since I've known him, Doc. Hey, what is this, a frame-up? <laughs> yes, I... Oh, it's there for yet. I didn't think that you better commit. No. I need the Get him, Doc. He's crazy. Hey, Ma, the big one. He's after me. Get him, Doc. Get him. What's the matter? He's in the way. Oh, I got him. I got him. I got him. What's the idea? I'll get him. I got him. Let me go. 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 Oh, you could have mentioned it. Oh, me? Now, listen, keep that thing away from me. Come on, now. Oh, no, 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 or not. You're in one now. How do you like it? Oh, I can like it yet. I don't like it. Please, leave me go my neck. Son. All right, boys. Come here. Hurry. 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 Please. He's got death. All right, Doc. Don't worry. We're taking it. not me. He's the one that's crazy. He's not too bad, Doc. That's what they all say. Yeah. Who's that? Come on. I can say it. Please. All right, boys. Get it. Come on. All right. <laughs> Look out, here he comes. Get in. Well, hello. 
no, Nick. Well, look, let's get this thing straight. What? Didn't you say the man worthwhile is the man who could smile? That's right. Laugh and the world laughs with you. <laughs> but here's one we forgot. What? He who laughs, 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 laughs. Laughs, laughs. <laughs> <laughs> 